Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, and we are talking with Jolt Credit Union this morning about their boxers and bloomers drive, and here to tell us all about it is Bridget Luby Stefalino. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Bridget. It's great to see you. Good morning, Blake. How you doing? Um, Thanks for having me. Yes, I'm well. Glad to uh, have you here, of course. So uh, I guess uh, we'll start off with the basics. What is the Boxers and Bloomers Drive? So Boxers and Bloomers Drive is a, uh, a fun um, drive that we created um, to get the whole community involved, you know, not just Joel Credit Union, our members. We want the whole community involved. Um, we're hoping to get as many people as we can to donate boxers and bloomers and all those will be um, given to the rescue ministries of uh, Bay City and Saginaw. Um, one of the things with um, undergarments is um, in the homeless community, it, most of the time um, when they arrive at the rescue ministries, uh, the only pair that they have are the ones that they have on mm -hmm. or perhaps they don't even have a pair. So so we thought this was a great way to get the whole community involved, especially after such a you know an awful year. A lot of nonprofits, um, I think the percentage is like 25 to 30 percent of nonprofits um, will no longer be around after this. And these are the organizations you know that really cater to you know those who live on the margin. So we wanted to do something kind of fun, but also really necessary in our community. Yeah, absolutely important as well. So I think it's a great idea. How did Jolt Credit Union come up with this idea? Okay, so last year we um, we created this. Uh, we have this new checking account. It's called Casasa, and they give it gives back to you know whoever has it, um, money wise. Yeah. And um, and so part of that, the introduction of that was we wanted to um, do a charitable um, component too. So hey, you know how can we give back to the community? So from the Heart Ministries, um, we worked with them before. Um, they were having a sock drive, so we created a matching sock drive so as many socks that were donated we matched it so we gave over like a thousand socks to the from the heart ministries and what they do is they give that to kids that are going to school so it happens in august and so these kids and i guess um the pastor said that they are lined up around the block to come and you know grab some new socks yeah. and so we talked about this to our board of directors and they absolutely loved it and um the chairman of the board who also happens to be my brother bob luby he said why don't we do underwear uh, one of his friends supercell really helps out at saint mary's cathedral they have uh, breakfast on Sunday mornings and she purchases um, with her own money and donations um, undergarments for undergarment socks too yeah. um, for the um, the guests that come there and so I thought okay yeah I think we can go with this and I just you know I, I love that you know one of the th great things about our board of directors is they are so all in with everything that we do out in the community and I'm sure people can see that too uh, and when it's translated and the amount of stuff you guys do for the community. So Bridget, can you tell us a little bit about where these donated items will go to? I know who they're helping, but where are they going? Okay, so they are, so we have right now, we have at our um, branches, um, we have one on State Street, um, one on Washington, uh, South Washington. We have one on Euclid and Bay City, um, one on Cass and Bay City, and also Essexville, plus the um, uh, Rescue Ministries. They ha they'll have um, uh, the uh, bags to um, collect the donations okay. um, at their Saginaw and Bay City location. So all of that will be going to the rescue ministries that, that will be distributed to their guests when they arrive. And there's also an opportunity to, if you can't get to um, one of our branches or you prefer to donate money, there's that option too. Um, the Rescue Ministries has a link on their website and it has a drop down that says boxers and bloomers and you can donate there as well. All right, simple process, so it makes it easy, I like that. Uh, can yes. you tell us, uh, Jolt obviously is being known as uh, active in the community. Why is it so important for you guys uh, to not only had this initiative, but many more in the community. Yeah, thank you, thank you, yes. Uh, well, it's kind of in our DNA, you know, credit unions, the uh, mission is uh, people helping people. And um, our staff, they absolutely love to give back. Um, it starts, you know, I mentioned the board of directors, our CEO, but it's like the, the staff that get really excited about it. Um, when we couldn't have like Christmas parties and everything, um, we took that opportunity to figure out, you know, 
what are some of the nonprofits that needed help? And so we used, I think, over $12,000 that we gave to different nonprofits, you know, whether they were you know, the um, uh, the Boys and Girls Club of the Great Lakes Bay region, um, Amazing Grace Animal Rescue. Um, so, I mean, we just feel like it is so necessary um, for our community to be healthy, um, which if our community is healthy, it's just going to grow. It's going to make people want to come and live here. Um, it, it just is necessary for us to do that. And, and um, we love it. We absolutely love it. It's, you know, we our, our tailing is we go all in uh a lot of people like when we participate or they ask us to help them um with a non it's usually, it's usually non-profit organization and they're having an event um we you know we show up and we are going to figure out how to really elevate that and give them more exposure because nonprofits, you know they rely on the events to um keep going it's operations a lot of the funds that they get are restricted but when they have non when they have these different events they can use that for operational costs as well but most of the time they do it for what they need it gotcha and i like what you say a healthy community uh could equal a happy one as well so uh yep. bridget is there anything else that you would like to say about your boxers and bloomers drive come on over you know it's it's you know drop off you know anything that you can i know and that's one of the things i purchased some um undergarments to go in our boxers and bloomers to go in some of our hampers mm -hmm. and i'll tell you they're so expensive so you know i'm just really asking everybody you know to take part in this one of the things that i noticed you know throughout this whole pandemic is I'll tell you, the Great Lakes Bay region and beyond, we love our community. Very, very generous in everything that we've done. So, you know, come on, let's 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 kick it up a notch and uh, and really get this going and help the rescue ministries um, provide you know boxers and bloomers to their uh, to their new their guests. You know, it's, it is it's a tangible expression of a fresh start. Yes, I loved uh, to hear it like that. So, Bridget, I appreciate you, of course, coming on. You're always welcome back. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, thank you so much. Take care and stay well. Yeah, you as well. And, uh, of course, for those at home, you can find more information in the hot link section of our website, WDM.com.